Welcome back to another Japan travel video. I know what I was doing when I started doing these recaps. It's been a little while, but don't worry, I'll get you caught up. We're here in Kyoto. That was the last episode. Make sure you check it out if you haven't already. And from Kyoto onwards, we did go to Koyasan, which does take quite a lot of time. It's in a very, very remote mountain place and uh, you travel quite long for it. Koya itself is a beautiful city with lots of Buddhist temples and what we were there for is to actually sleep in one of those temples. It was very, very remote and not a lot of stuff there. We arrived kind of late, so we also just went to bed straight away and I'll tell you how that went. Hi everyone, I literally slept here last night and by here I mean on this floor because I'm staying in a Buddhist temple here in Koyasan, which is a mountain that has, I think, around 150 temples, 50 of which offer lodging, while I also had some of their traditional vegetarian uh, diet. I also slept on the floor on traditional futon bedding. Now, I will say I am way too weak for that. Everything hurts. I was awake every other 30 minutes or so, and it's definitely not for me. Um, I will go and look at the head temple in a couple of minutes, and I also looked at some of the temples yesterday night already after arriving. I do think that they're worth visiting, and I think they're very pretty. Even this room and this temple are very pretty, but yeah, it's definitely an experience, let's say that. And I'm going to go back to Osaka today, and then tomorrow the plan is to go to Nara, see the deer and the mochi and all of that. All right, just checking in um, and I'll show you some more of those temples. Like I said, the temples are absolutely gorgeous and a lot of them also have these traditional Japanese Zen gardens in the middle or in the back end of them. And it's definitely worthwhile to walk around and just look at stuff, check out the graveyard, check out the Hep temple. In a lot of places you're not allowed to film, so there's only a few videos of the entire thing. But we did go back uh, at the end of our trip to Osaka, and Osaka was super fun. <laughs> Osaka is known for a very busy and lively city with the Dontonbori being the heart of it. There is lots of food to be discovered there. And a lot of the stores have these kind of wacky giant outside signs that move or look crazy like these. Yo! <laughs> It is definitely super busy there and there's a lot of people, so finding a place to eat can be a little bit hard, but we managed finding one that seemed to just have opened a couple days ago. Uh, they also had a green menu, as you can see, and uh, we also tried new food. Du filmst die Leute ja nicht, aber es nimmt den Ton auf. Ichigo candied strawberry to pastry cream. Okay guys, I cannot eat fruit but I'm sacrificing myself for the greater good of us all. Stop the cap. I got this mochi daifuku with a strawberry on top and we're gonna try it. I don't know how to eat it, but I'll try. This one does. That's really cool. Mm-hmm. Okay. This is a 10 out of 10 easily. Very good. Oh. Worth the cramps, I think. Ever since I dreamed about going to Japan, some of the islands and places in Japan that are filled with animals have been very, very dear to me. And one of those places is Nara. Nara has a lot of deer. In German, we call it Sikavild. 
It's a, a different type of red deer. It's very small and they're holy there and you can feed them too. There's people everywhere, at least they were when we were there. And they also didn't have their horns at the time because it was spring. But you can get these crackers and if you bow in front of them, they will also bow <coughs> to receive the blessing. And uh, I had a lot of a lot of fun with this. Now, that's not the only thing you can see near Nara Park, but it definitely is a big attraction. And you can see a lot of people kind of trying to get the deer to bow to them, to feed them, to touch them. I would always recommend to not touch animals, especially wild animals. Um, but these were very chill and you could tell that they were kind of used to it. So I wasn't too worried about it. The other big thing that's there is a giant park area with temples as well. And the tallest wooden building in the world, I believe, which has a lot of Buddhist statues as well. So very, very cool to see that and just enjoy all of these pictures of these beautiful deer amongst the cherry blossoms. I really thought this was so gorgeous and I absolutely enjoyed it every single minute that we were in Nara and I'd love to go back and spend more time really. Hi everyone, I'm currently in Nara and as you can see it's so nice here. We've been feeding the deer and looking at these beautiful shrines and temples that Nara Park has to offer and later tonight there's some Kobe beef on the menu which I'm really excited for as well. We're gonna tour some more of these shrines and I hope you enjoy the footage. Of course, I also found something new to try, which I had to buy and give it a shot. There are lots of sweets there and uh, see for yourself how this one worked out. You can't love everything, can you? But there were lots of other things to enjoy in Nara. We also later went to the very famous Machi place to try it, so stay tuned for that. But uh, this is the big Buddhist uh, building that I was referring to. There's lots of statues there and you can go inside and film some of it. They don't allow you to film from the very front, so we just have a lot of pictures from the side uh, trying to get a shot of how big these statues really, really are. This is the building that I was referring to. You can see how tiny the people are in comparison and this is me in comparison yeah yeah down there absolutely insane these huge huge monuments a beautiful temple and shrine area and as you can see lots of deer and lots of people as well To me, it felt a little bit like being a Disney princess, <laughs> being surrounded by all of these deer bowing in front of you, trying to get a cracker. Of course, for anybody that's wondering, these crackers are made specifically for the deer and buying them does help them take care of the deer. But as I promised, we also tried the very famous mochi. And I have to say, they're not for me. I don't like the hearty mochi as much as I like the sweet ones, the daifuku. So uh, on we went to Kobe to try an all-you-can-eat Kobe place. And that was absolutely delicious and well worth it for the evening. Hey, don't forget, don't forget to leave a like and maybe a subscription if you enjoyed it. I promise the next video is coming faster than this one came out. Thank you. Bye-bye.